Long ball, Ponzi Adley. Nice grab. Play on handball. Here's Duncan. 30 out and closing. Got it, Cats. Both back, Guthrie. Fast hands. The Potony favoured left side. Got it. Back within a point, Walk the Cats. Ryan's it inside the forward 50. Geelong well represented down there. Ponzi Adley. Past the centre circles. Penetrating kick. Will it go to the back of the back? No. Ponzi Adley. In the grand final now, Chapman, who is a long, long kick to full forward. Ponzi Adley oh. takes a one-hander. Kicks the goal. Geelong coming back hard. Pods has got three. Got out of jail. They might be getting out of jail here again today. Pods, bang. He's got four. This game has suddenly changed into another code. Eventually, Taylor's got it. That's better. Taylor long bomb down towards full forward. In from the side, right cross. Open goal. Pods, he has He's got another one. He's got five for the afternoon. Cats lead by three points. Can you believe it? He certainly is so far. That's a well-placed kick for Putty Adley. There was nothing Thompson could do about it. Never been a massive goal kicker. And that's telling again. Putty Adley just now got there. Players get far too close on the side. Doesn't matter on this occasion. Putty Adley is a one-man band down there at the moment. Isn't he? That for Putty Adley, he was in. The right position that time, and he thought about playing on and still thinking about it. Set up around the corner, and another goal is registered to James Potter. That Motlop is a speedster. How's the kick going to go? Crowd willing it on, it holds up in the breeze. And Ponty Adley got there. That's their 12th mark for the quarter. Geelong, Richmond have not taken a mark, and that's the Geelong we know, Lynch. You know, it's just power football. It turns around. It's a dangerous ball coming in. Ponzi Adley, the crowd now, telling him to go back and have a shot. Hawkins is up. He's OK. Crawley right there with him. And Duncan up as well. Long one. Strong one. Another goal. Thank you, Stringer. Long one towards Ponzi Adley at the back. Bartell gave it to Brown. Back towards Ponzi Adley. Bouncing ball. It's bounced the right way. Three for the J-Pod. He has been so bad, but he's never really got hold of Collie. One of the most goals he's ever kicked against him in the match is two. And that one's working its way back. They like it. Now here's a chance for them. Hawkins leads back in the race. Can lay it off. Pudsy Adley. He's had a quiet night, Pods, but he runs in at 20. Looks in the rear view mirror and picks the feature. Not sure about that. Long one for Pudsy Adley. And a big, strong, contested mark forward. And Ponzi Adley getting busy. Marks outside 50. Crowd wanted a 50-metre penalty. Nothing doing. Just the second time that the GWS have kicked four goals in the opening term. And no surprise, the only previous was against Gold Coast. Their one and only win in the competition. Long kick. Clears the line. It's home. And the J-Pod has his second. We're back to five to points. Outside 50, sends a long one down towards the J-Pod, who marks at the top of the square directly the in front. And as a result, Chapman to Wojcinski, and the mark is taken 20 metres out now by Ponzi Adley. Ball kick forward, Smets is the target, Guerra doing the work, he got Ponzi Adley high, and the umpire, a late whistle. to make the margin 13 points again he kicks and gives the cats a little bit of breathing space your thoughts have run out of bounds Ponzi Adley's got the football that turned out okay for the cats Ponzi Adley one step hooks it back that's a brilliant kick puts it right through the middle but Jane yeah. jams it on the ball high ball inside the forward 50 Ponzi Adley it was like a marsupial catching the football yeah, he's Adley's kicked a couple can he join Cox on three? He's a long, long way out. Gee, struck it well. Has it got the journey? It has. So Pods is coming to the party. He's kicked three, the veteran. Well over, Bruce. Centering kick. Duncan, he's been terrific as well. Pods, the Adley. Almost climbed the mountain, but then Geelong had skipped away. Stokes, clever. Pods, the Adley, deep in the pocket. Fancies himself. Pods, the Adley runs around and kicks his second. He's had a good last quarter as well just to join in when they needed a bit of energy what about stokes has seen for us tonight yeah he's been good tonight he's had the 22 disposals and there's still spots up for grabs i think that's part of the exciting thing when you get towards the finals is who's going to jog into this position alan christensen's on the average 70 points for yeah, for oh, the season. That's
that's a bad kick too. Good kick for the Cats. Podsy Adley's within range. Especially the wind over his shoulder. Kicked 52 goals last year. He's got 31 so far this year. Great. Distance was never a problem. He might strike form at the right time and of the year. Kicked inside 50. Christensen now. Goods working deep in defence. Handball fired out. Podsy Adley's way. Mike Pike with the error. And there's another goal for Geelong. It's tied up yet again at Simmons Stadium. Saturday afternoon football is alive. And Henry left it behind. Bartell gathers. Sends it down towards full forward. Podsy Adley. Third attempt. Was he paid the mark? Yes, he was. This for a 44-point lead for the Cats. They're locked in now. They will play Fremantle or North Melbourne next week in Melbourne. The kick on its way. The J-Pod has his second. Down in the Stokes direction. Bouncing ball. It's knocked out. Ponzi Adley's way. That was a brilliant little touch across by Hawkins. And finally, Geelong get their 16th goal of the game.